Come Together, again from the Abbey Road album. This is probably my favorite track. The lick's so smooth with just the right amount of space. Note the way he starts the riff with the open D. Uh, let's play the intro and verse. Let's look at this riff slowly. Starting on the open D string, let's play two eighth notes. And sliding from the A string now, from the F, we're going to go up to the F natural on the G. So we're, we're sliding four whole frets. And then back again to the D quarter note on the D string at the octave and then slide it down. Once again, two eighth notes, slide from the F up to the F again on the G string, quarter note D string. So slow down the riff is. It's a great riff. And I just love the way he goes into the A chord here. He bends the third of the A chord on the D string at the 10th fret. So we'll start on the A string on the 12th fret on A. So he'll hit two eighth notes, an eighth note rest, and then say a quarter bend on the C. The strings were heavy back then. So you hardly notice the bend once again. again, and then it'll slide all the way down to the E string, a G, a whole note, and then again, the riff. Two more bars. So let me slow down the beginning of the verse for you. One more time, under the tape speed. Two more bars. To that cool bend, 12th fret A. So, let's move on to the chorus now, probably the only two-bar chorus I have ever heard. And now slowly again. Now we'll move on to the solo.
So let's slow it down. On the D string, we'll start at the A, seventh fret. They're all eighth notes. And again, second bar, three, four. Now we hit 16th notes, same string, same fret. Those last three beats are two sixteenths to an eighth. And then again, one more bar of eighth notes. One more bar again. And then we go to the riff. What I do there is actually play from the G. You remember I said that we slide from the F? That's the only place it really happens. So you're actually right. It does happen somewhere in the song. That bar is an open string again. All 16th notes. Then there's a 16th note rest. Now you go from the 12th to the 10th fret on the G string. And again, two Fs. So let's start from the solo under tempo. go to the riff. And there we have it. <laughs>